Have you ever wanted to rearrange your room but not have to actually move the furniture yourself? Today we're going to teach you how to use the Lazy Boy 3D program. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. To get started in the 3D floor plan, first go to the Lazy Boy website and this is the page that you'll see. Up here in this corner you'll see a tab that says Design Services. Click on that, come down to the second row and in the middle there'll be a um, link for the 3D planner. Let's go ahead and click on that. So it'll bring you to this page. You'll see I'm logged into my account, so there are many floor plans here, but let's go ahead and select new project, this blue tab right here. There's several different options here. Um, typically you'll wanna go into the build your own, create your space option. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then it'll bring you to this screen. There's different units of measurement for you to draw in. So you've got centimeters, meters, feet and inches, inches. So. Typically it's easiest for me to draw in feet and inches, um, but you choose what's best for you. So let's go ahead and click get started. Let's zoom the field out a little bit so we can draw a little bit of a wider space. So let's pretend you have a room that is 15 by 15. Let's make it square just for, um, just for ease. Let's go ahead and draw a box. Okay, so you'll notice the measurements aren't accurate, but let's go ahead and fix that. So go over here and let's click select. And you can drag these walls out to make that room your perfect 15 by 15. Okay, so there's our room. So now this is the spot where you are going to start adding in your, any kind of hallways or doorways, windows, all of that kind of stuff. So let's pretend that your kitchen is over this way to the left of the um, living room. So let's go ahead and add an opening here. Let's say it's, let's say it's nine and a half feet wide. So 9.5 feet. You can also change the height. If, you're, if your ceilings are, are taller, um, you can change the height of the walls and the, and the uh, openings there and get that as accurate looking as possible. So let's go ahead and you just click off to the side and it changes the size of that opening. We'll go ahead and get it into, into the spot. Okay, so let's add a couple of windows. We'll add them along this north wall here. Now, to get the windows as you want them, click on the window. You can change the height, the width, and how far it sits off the floor. So let's say the height of the windows is six feet. And we'll keep it at, keep it at the standard width of three feet, two inches. And let's put it about a foot off the floor. Okay, so now let's go back over to this window and make those same adjustments. Six feet high and one foot off the floor. I also want to add a doorway, an opening here along this wall. Um, and we'll say that's where you come in from the front of the house. Okay, so this is my space. This is the room that I have. So let's start adding in some furniture. Go up to the right hand corner and click on the blue tab that says add furniture. So here's your room. Let's go ahead and put it in 3D so we can um, spin around the room and see if there's any adjustments that we need to make. So come up to this um, tab up here and click 3D. And we'll just kind of rotate the room around. It's easier to use the 3D floor plan, uh, floor planner with a mouse. That way you have full access of any kind of those controls. So to spin around the room, you just click down the um, left side of the mouse and spin around the room. If you wanna move around the room, click down the right side of the mouse and spin around that way. Everything's looking good. So let's go ahead and put, put the floor back to a 2D uh, view. 
If you realize when you're moving the room around, if you realize that there's anything that needs to be adjusted or changed, if the windows are too short or too tall or any kind of those adjustments, go back to that up, upper right hand and click modify layout. That'll bring you back to this um, drawing space and you can make any of those adjustments as you need to. But everything looks good, so we're gonna continue. Okay, so you can change any kind of flooring or wall paint um, in your room. Let's click on flooring and I'll show you that there are several different um, hardwood flooring options. You have several different carpet options as well as tile, tile flooring options. Let's go back to the hardwood and you can kind of, you know, filter through and see what, what looks the closest to your flooring. That one looks good, so I'm gonna stick with that. Let's go up to wall paint and we can change out the wall paint. Most of the Sherwin-Williams colors are loaded into um, this planner, so you can change those. A, a very popular color right now is agreeable gray. So let's go ahead and switch to that. Okay, so let's pretend like we've got a an accent wall, a, br a brick accent wall in the room. We're going to click on the single wall option, click on bricks, it'll take us to this screen. And let's go ahead and make this wall our brick accent. Let's look at that in 3D, make sure everything feels good. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so now comes the fun part where we get to start adding furniture. So if you want to add like, any Lazy Boy specific products, you'll click on the furniture tab. So let's go ahead and add in a Collins sofa. And usually I just get all the furniture in there and then I start adjusting where it's going to go. Let's add a Collins love seat. Let's start with that. So let's pretend like we want for the sofa to go there and the love seat to be there. I'm going to back up one second and if your room has a fireplace in it, let's get back all the way out here so I can explain this. So go to shop by category, click on accessories and there's a fireplace options right here. Um, you'll see there's several different styles of fireplaces. Let's go ahead and add this one. I like the um, the built-in option, the built-in look of that. So our furniture placement is still good now that we've added the fireplace. Let's look at changing the fabric on the sofa. So you can click on the sofa and click style and that'll bring you to this option of being able to change the fabric color um, on the sofa frame. So let's change that fabric. We're going to change it to this nice neutral kind of taupey shade. And I noticed that that fabric was called Merit. So I'm just going to type that in now that we're going to change the fabric on the love seat. So we'll click that same fabric and change it for the love seat. You also have the option to change pillow fabric. You'll just want to scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll see an option for contrasting pillows. I'm feeling a little funky today, so let's do a leopard print on the pillows. Same thing for the love seat. I love that. <laughs> okay, so now we can start adding in some fun accessories. So go back to the shop by category, click on the accessories tab, and this is where you'll see options for area rugs, end tables, um, that's where we picked our fireplace. You also have 
options for Hamry and Kincaid. Those are both companies that are owned by Lazy Boy and who we do most of our case goods through. You'll also see options here for um, table lamps, wall decor, and miscellaneous. So there's a lot of things here to filter through and look at. I wanna go ahead and get a rug in here. That a rug really helps to pull a room together and ground a seating area. So let's go ahead and put one of those on the floor. This is also really helpful because it helps make sure you're getting the exact right rug size. So this is an eight by 10. I wanna put that right up to the hearth of the fireplace there. That looks very nice. I like the way that looks, so I'm happy with that. But if you wanted a smaller rug for any, any reason, you could go and collect a, select a six by nine. That to me looks just a little bit too small, so I'm gonna go back to the eight by 10. But there are several pages of rug options for you to choose from. Okay, I wanna go in and add some Kincaid tables. There's a lot to filter through here, desks and bar stools, bedroom furniture, dining room furniture. So really take your time and, and look and see if there's something that you like. I wanna go ahead and add in a round coffee table. I especially love this Weatherford round coffee table, so I'm gonna put that one in there. You'll see here when I click on the table, you have the option to rotate it around, to duplicate it if, if you want to. Um, you can zoom right to the coffee table um, and really start to get that in the exact space that you want it to be. I'm gonna back out of this and I'm gonna add an end table. Again, there's a lot of options here, but I'm gonna search for the matching Weatherford end table and put it in between my sofa and love seat. Okay, so I'm gonna back all the way back out of that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and see if there's anything that I feel like we need to add. I feel like I'm missing artwork and window treatment, so I'm gonna go in and add those. But let's look at the room in 3D first. I'm really liking the way that looks. So let's go ahead and start adding some accessories. So go all the way down and select wall decor. And you've got several pages of options here. I'm gonna click this one and see how I feel about that size in between the windows. I like that. That looks really nice. I'm gonna spin around to this wall here because I feel like this definitely could use something. So you've got several pages, like I said, of, of different options to look through. But let's go back. I wanna put this clock on the wall. I think that kind of fits the feel of the, of the room. So we'll add that in. Okay, last but not least, let's add in some window treatments. So we'll go back, click shop by category and select window treatments. Again, you've got many options as far as lengths of curtains and um, some different patterns and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead, let's just add something kind of neutral. I think there's a white, yeah. Let's add just a long white panel on either side here on the ends. And you can adjust where those go as soon as you have them placed. So that really helps to kind of finish and polish off the look of the room. There's also options for any kind of accessories, table lamps, let's add one on our end table. So I've added a table lamp here, as well as I'm gonna add some table decor onto the table. And that's it, there's your room. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you to get the room the way you want it to be. If you would ever need any extra help, please feel free to come into a Lazy Boy store and ask for a designer. We'll be happy to help.